A lab of a different kind of BYU, this one all about building unmanned aircraft. Dan Roscoe takes us inside the story of BYU's magic lab. And Dan, this is a very popular industry right now. It sure is, Mark and Sean. It's an industry that is just booming. We hear about cars and planes and drones driving or flying themselves. Well, getting them to do that is no simple task and takes some serious brain power. Capture is live. Three BYU graduate students. I'll subscribe to the autonomous commands. Preparing for a very significant Props on. launch. Okay, I'm ready. Given command to take off. One that appears take off. like no big deal. Given command to follow the car. Following the car. But actually took years of work to master. And tens of thousands of code to program. We gave it a fixed altitude to follow at. A drone following a car. And here's the catch, without anyone touching the remote. So the safety pilot is not touching the controls at all. This is all the computer that's on board the drone itself. It's telling it where to go. The drone is using visual information to find the car and to follow it, figure out where it's going and keep track of it. And what's amazing about this is it's not using GPS. It's not using a commercial autopilot. It's only using the engineering brains of graduate students here inside BYU's magic lab. That's magic with two C's. The word stands for multi-agent intelligent coordination and control. The whole idea behind BYU's magic lab is really to get rid of this, the remote, so that these things can fly on their own. The idea is how do you fly without GPS? Professor Randy Beard. We spend most of our effort in the development of sensors and algorithms. And Professor Tim McLean actually started this lab long before drones were a household name. 20 years ago, they were working on ground robots and remote control planes. Over the years, the professors knew the industry was going towards unmanned aircraft. And now, we see them everywhere. It's a great industry right now for students to go into. There's a huge market. And the Magic Lab has huge support from some 30 industry partners. They direct the research. They tell us what problems are important to them. And we uh, put our graduate students to work. And that work can bring about some fun in problem solving. It's sweet. I, I love it. I've uh, just be, kind of become my hobby uh, and my work. Good landing. Well, there are about 30 graduate students in the program right now. Each have their own specialty in electrical, mechanical, or computer engineering. The professors say these students don't have a problem finding jobs. For more on this story, go to our website, KUTV.com. Click on Features and Inside the Story.